Hey viewers, what's going on? Welcome back to more Mickey's Dangerous Chase on the Game Boy. Remember the playthrough is also going to be available on G2PO.com. And we are going to continue on our adventure in uh, stage number 3. That's weird, my banners are not working. It's not getting the goddamn block, now it's jumping, okay, finally. Banos were in working, or at least I was pressing the wrong ones for a second, I got confused. Anyway, video game. And this certainly looks tougher because there are more spikes, there are more pits. So your jumps have to be very accurate. Oh yeah, that special star that is blinking, you know, white and, and black all the time, gives you an extra life immediately. I'm waiting for the guy to commit suicide, I don't think I can do anything against him because I don't have any block, first of all. Now I can kill him, of course. But remember, you cannot do Mario killing, Mario style killing, in this particular game. And now I got the invincibility again. So let's go as fast as I can, see? Lots of spikes, lots of pits, it requires very good jumping on your part. Which I'm not accomplishing at the moment, as you can tell. Another weird hitbox. Every single occasion in which an enemy hits me, it doesn't even touch me. And I'm pretty sure I keep some decent distance from him. Well, anyway. I got an extra heart, so I recover part of the health that I lost. Well, apparently he's going very far. Well, I can duck and just avoid them like that. That's good enough. It would be cool if you use the question mark blocks and throw them at enemies as well. Alright, that was close. But convenient at the same time. I guess they wanted to go down. Yeah, this part is not really easy taking into account that you are being given very few blocks and you are surrounded by enemies that you cannot kill no matter what. So that provides an extra challenge. Well, this time I didn't take any hit, but I'm pretty sure I kept the same distance from other enemies before. The same distance as the last path you saw. That's weird. Are you supposed to take a hit here? Well, in any case, uh, I am going to the mountains. Wow, how optimistic. We'll never catch him up. Alright, it's another moving level. It's kind of typical. It's like the equivalent to a boss battle, something like that. We had the ball, we had the balloons, now I am going down the mountains. So yeah, that's why it seems. And yeah, in every single of these... Uh, moving stages, you have the chance to get a lot of items, either the, the balls that give you an extra life as a bonus, stars, hearts. Now yeah, this is extremely short, and you can consider this even a bonus game rather than a boss battle, so to speak. Into the warehouse. <clears throat> I think we are changing chapter or stage, the industrial area. Yes, sir. Let's go for it. Oh yeah, you cannot kill this thing, obviously it causes you damage if you touch it, So, but you can make you fall, 
if you want to get rid of it on what? Well, this time I took a hit anyway because I'm stupid. But you cannot try to kill those even if you throw a lot of these blocks to him or to it. It's not even a being, it's a thing. So just avoid them as much as you can or make them fall if necessary. Okay. This time I didn't take the necessary measures and I took a hit by falling down. Well, even so, I didn't have enough space for jumping and took another hit. Yeah, this is complicated. Now, from having very few blocks in a level, now we have too many. So yeah, it's difficult to make your way through this area. Uh, I guess I have to make this one fall and then continue on. That wasn't terrible. Well, that was unnecessary again. Well, that's what sucks about blind jumps and, well, my first death. About time, I guess. Okay, here we are again. This is where I died last time. Pretty stupid death. And, well, as it is a sort of rule, when I play these video games in general, I die almost at the end of each level. It happened to me in so many platformers. Mario Wii uh, among them. So we are in an actual factory now with conveyor belts which will make my life more miserable than it is already. You gotta watch every single of your jumps apparently because there are even spikes on the ceiling which is gay. you're gonna time your jumps, this thing's gonna work two times. And then you can move. Have, a, of course, a limited amount of time for you to move on. But it's enough. I suppose I'm getting close to the last areas of the game, if not the last one. I'm uncertain. Of course I won the heart. I take hits very often, but fortunately they give you enough hearts for you to recover the health you lose very often too. As you can see right there, Thank god spikes don't have the mega man effect of killing you instantly. You know, it's Capcom and everything so you might be scared or worried about that. It's not a big deal. There are not so many enemies around the place, if any. I saw a couple. Like this one. But the main difficulty, of course, is to go through the spike areas. <coughs> so Pete is going into town. Now I'm gonna drive. Look at how the way is, all fucked up. Apparently all enemies want to crash into you. Like kamikaze. Kamikaze drivers. Yeah, this level is actually very challenging. You have to see what's on the other side before making certain jumps, so you have to be careful in that sense. I don't know how to avoid that. Seriously. And that too, you need to go forward, scrolling is going more or less fast. So it's difficult not to take a hit and it got, once again, 
the four balls, so I'm getting an extra life. There he is! He's in town. Business district. Okay, this could be the last stage. I'm going to be doing it next episode, so thanks a lot for watching.